everyone, this is Delaware's Dan, and I am here to talk about kimchi, one of my favorite things. And so I've been living in South Korea for quite a long time, and kimjang, or the kimchi making season, is one of the most amazing things. And to an outset of CSI, uh, because every surface is covered in plastic wrap and all the participants are covered in head to toe in rubber uh, galoshes, pink or red long aprons, long rubber gloves that go from fingertips to elbows, goggles, masks, plastic head covers, everything. And it's just, there's a massive amount of kimchi. We're talking tons of kimchi, uh, maybe thousands of heads of cabbage everywhere. And so um, this, is, this is one of the things that you would see when you see the kimchi making season. Um, and you'll see a lot of people wearing these crazy outfits, wielding these sharp knives. You'll see giant meat grinders churning out garlic and ginger. Uh, and there's piles of um, just salt brine, limp white cabbage everywhere. There's um, leeks, um, radishes, um, um, green onions. It's, it's just like absolutely like, it looks like chaos. Uh, but the thing is there's order among all this. And when, once they put all of the ingredients together, they, um, they, you know, they smear the, um, the kimchi onto the cabbage and then afterwards they kind of wrap it all up and it looks like a swaddled baby. So these nostalgic images of kimchi making, um, you know, of these pictures of the um, a village making all of this kimchi has um, become iconic in Korea. It's, it's something that makes people um, think of their old times, also a time when um, uh, Korea was very poor and they needed this kimchi to survive the very cold and harsh South Korean winters. Now, at ancient times, imagine how strange it would seem if you saw someone go um, to the backyard and uh, snow t over to the snow white um, covered ground and they would dig up um, one of these pots and pull out this little red uh, swaddled thing, um, which would be kimchi. It would, it would look very, very strange, I think. It would look like some, one of those scenes out of... Uh, um, like a horror show or something. But this is how people preserved um, kimchi during the, uh, the winter months. So there, the fermentation process and the whole way of doing it, it's, it's really magical. It's really amazing how some people had figured out how to ferment vegetables. Whereas a lot of European countries, what they mainly do is, um, they mainly do is ferment um, alcohol. But anyway, um, when you, if you have a chance to come to Korea, and I think you will, and I think you've seen a lot of shows where uh, you, um, you have seen this, uh, kimchi is one of the things that you can um, come and see being made, especially during the kimchi making festival that's usually like in November. They usually have it near City Hall. So um, also a lot of... Um, Hopefully, after the pandemic, the, uh, the cooking classes and other things will come back into fashion and then we'll be able to do them. So um, one of the great things is like everyone has a certain role and a job that they have to do. And, um, you know, when someone asks you, like, who makes the best kimchi, you always have to say your mother makes the best kimchi. So anyway. This is Daniel Gray, um, just talking a little bit about kimchi. I'm trying to figure out where to go with this, but um, I think it'll go somewhere, right? Thanks again. Bye.